The ILO report predicts SNIT reserves could deplete by 2036, prompting public apprehension about the scheme's sustainability. However, SNIT emphasizes that the report utilizes data from 2020 overlooking recent improvements. It doesn't mean that the scheme is going to collapse in 2036, not at all. What it means is that based on the assumptions they use in the projection, just like in the other reports, in the 2011 report that I showed, 2014, 2017, similar findings were made and they, 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 in the results and they made similar recommendations. And among them was to adjust the contribution rate from the current rate that we have at 11% to say 16%, for example, in 2011 reports. Various reports, various suggestions have come. Even in 2020 report that we are discussing, the ILO said that for SNIT to be more sustainable, the contribution report should be 22 percent, not the current 11 percent that we have. SNIT outlines measures to bolster its financial outlook, including the deactivation of ghost pensioners, resulting in savings of approximately 519 million Ghana cities as of March this year. Management of the scheme says it has made proactive efforts to increase its self-employed contributors from 14,000 to 80,000 over the past year to ensure its future viability. SNIT contributions are safe. There is no danger of we, not, we defaulting or the seas collapsing or anything like that. No, far from that. Your investments, I mean, your investments are also protected. I've already enumerated them. And so nobody should have any reservation at all to proceed with the, with the, um, the seed agenda and bring their resources so that they can protect themselves in future when they retire. Michael Lobodu, 3 Business Accra.